All righty. Happy Thursday. It's November 16th, Ephesians 4, 11, and 12. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry to build up the body of Christ. An evangelist, properly divined from Greek, euangelion, or euangelis. Euangelist. Oh, well, Greek's a long time ago for me, but it means one who announces the gospel, one who proclaims the good news. Office or action, like I said a couple days ago. Uh, some that are evangelists do it just out of gifting. Man, they're just good at it. But the truth is, like Paul encouraged Timothy, we should all exercise the work of the evangelist. We should tell people about Jesus. You see, when evangelists speak, a lot of times, for instance, you know, we hold those things we call revival meetings, and we invite evangelists to come preach for a week, you know, and, and sometimes <laughs> revivals actually happen. Sometimes they're just meetings. So is there a difference between revival meetings and real revivals? Think about the news last year. Asbury University had a revival. Uh, the Spirit of God just showed up in the student body and people were confessing their sin and people were renewing their relationship with Christ and, and some very cool things were happening. Guess what? For a revival to take place, there's no need for an evangelist when the Spirit of God just shows up. Guess what? You'll see revival. He in this verse is actually Jesus and it says, He Himself provided for the equipping of the saints and the building up of the body and the one within the body, the one that Jesus has called and provided for to share the good news, to announce the gospel, that's the evangelist. Ephesians 4, 11 and 12, he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, to build up the body of Christ. See you tomorrow. Thank you.